it's Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, thanks for watching. The first thing you want to do is hit the subscribe button up top there. We're here with my boy Robert. What's up, man? What's going on? How you doing? All right, so I want to give a shout out to a couple people. You want to give a shout out to, man? We tried this in the last video. Robert couldn't think of anybody. Give a shout out to somebody. I uh, give a shout out to Waka Flocka. He wants to give a shout out to Waka Flocka. Is there such person? Actually, I think there is. Everybody in this video that just watched that, that was like me just farting in a church when I said that, right? Every day at home is like, who the hell is a Waka Flocka? Don't worry about it. Look it up. All right, so let's move on with the bump, okay? And we're going to lose this bump. Robert's like, yo, man, that was the most random thing you ever said. But it's okay because these videos are supposed to be random. They're supposed to be fun. Like, you know what I mean? It's oh, those other guys like, well, we're going to remove the ball. Watch, right? Let, let's, we're going to do a quick imitation because you have about seven minutes here in this video, right? A quick imitation of some of the other videos. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Ready, watch this. All right, y'all, you want to remove this bolt here, I reckon? You got my dip container? All right, well, well, I think I reckon, like, well, my sister was looking for a loan to get herself a double wide, and I was like, I broke my end milk, so I'd love to help you. Right, you know, the, basically the point is they don't make any sense, those videos, you know? All right, so we're going to loosen these four bolts. All right, just like that. All right, so Robin has already pre-loosened them for us. Thank you for stay staying tuned and watching all the ridiculous things. But we'll give you a little secret. If you've actually been watching or this is your first video and you're like, oh my God, this guy a lunatic or what? No, we're not lunatics. We just try to do something funny so you remember who we are. Because so many times, like in the industry, you're like, oh, I saw some video on YouTube and it was some like pump guy. You know what I mean? And, you're like, and then you go back later on, like when you're not at work, and you know, you, the history is not saved in your browser anymore. And you're like, oh, what was that video I was watching or something like that? And then, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, you're like, you buy it from somebody else. But if, you, if I'm saying all kinds of crazy things in these videos to make you laugh, you're going to remember that was Joe from Wet Head Pumper Bear. And you're like, yeah, that guy was fun, pretty funny. He was just, he was basically embarrassing and humbling himself for my entertainment purposes while he showed me how to save hundreds of dollars on fixing the bull bump. See, we can be funny and educated, right? All right, now that we got those bolts loose, we want to tap off this seal housing, just like so. Okay, now, inside of there is the seal that just bounced out. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, now, sometimes you move the motor side. Sometimes it doesn't come off that easy. There's also a seal that you want to pull out. We pulled that in the last video, but I just knocked it out here. Okay, so you got two parts of the seal. All right, you got this one part here with the spring assembly on it, and then you have another part, you can see there, the white, that's inside the housing. Okay, so basically the way that works is this seal will be on the shaft, the black hits the white part there and it seals it, that way the water can come through here and, and leak on the motor. Okay, now we've said in the other videos, we sell a little kit, it comes a uh, cute little gable box, sometimes it comes another square box, that kit includes a premium brand new seal for the pump. You can see there, it's brand new, I don't even want to touch it, because it's brand new and white. All right, there you go. All right, so it comes with a seal and then you get two brand new motor bearings. All right. I know it looks like we're packaging things up for weddings. You know what I mean? But that's okay. You know, right? It makes it nice for you. I mean, why does everything have to be in that old paper? You know? So inside here, you get two brand new motor bearings for this motor. Okay? So and they come in a kit. So you can just go to wetheadpumprepair.com and you can buy that kit and everything will come. Put it back. Oh. Put it back in there. Um, ooh, that's not good either. All right. So put it back in there. All right. So move that. Now, what you want to do is you got that one part of the seal. And then the other part of the seal, we're just going to knock that out, put it flat on the table, put your, the flat head screwdriver, bam, just like that. See that? And then you can put two parts out. All right, so we're going to put this on the side. We're going to make another video now, and we're going to take apart this motor and show you how to change the bearings. That will be the next video. All right, so this is Joe Tamargo from wetheadpumprepair.com. All right, see you in the next video where we're going to be opening up this motor, showing you the bearings inside, showing you how to change them, and then we're going to put it all back together for you. All right, so Joe Tamarva from wetheadpumprepair.com. Peace.